Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Okay guys, today I'm just going to show you some of the new stuff and how to use the new 2022 Lourdes Hydrofix Premium. And, alright, if you, if you want to know as far as how to set it all up and all the different things about cleaning and maintenance, I have videos on all that other stuff. I'm just showing you new stuff and how to use this new model because it's a little different. First thing I'll tell you is, you'll see right here it says water. So whenever this light flashes, now you know that it needs water. Um, the old model, you used to have to look at the owner's manual. This tells you when you need to replace the cartridge and the light will light up. So pretty easy, pretty simple stuff. As far as the new model, I mean, they really, back in 2018 when this first came out, it literally was the best there was. They have improved it throughout the years and I personally thought they kind of reached the limit of what they could do. And of course, they surprised me once again because they came out, this new one has some technology called Vive technology, and it really is next level. When I say it's next level, guys, literally nobody in the world has it. Nobody in the world even thought about doing it. I believe it's even patented, but basically it's using some type of frequency or vibrational technology and also vortexing the actual hydrogen. It's almost like vortexing or structuring water. Now they're structuring the hydrogen, which is, again, completely next level. I have definitely felt the difference. I was actually a little surprised because I thought it was a little bit of a hocus pocus type of thing. I didn't think it was something that was real. Just like structuring water, I used to think was just a bunch of uh, baloney, as you'd say, and actually it really is real stuff. I've actually looked at some of the science of that. And I guess if you guys wanna know more about that, you can always comment below and I can make some other video in regards to that. But, so this is my hydrogen station. Um, you can see I have a little towel here. Just remember, never put the machine on top of a towel. Always put it on a solid surface. In fact, I could probably show you here. See how it's on a solid surface right here. Never put it on top of a towel. Never put it on top of a cloth. It can damage the machine. So that's something important. And you know what? Here in my hydrogen station, I guess if you guys kind of want to see the hydrogen station, I have a bottle of clean water. I use this whenever the machine asks for water. I always put clean water in there. And then in the back here, I have a little funnel with a measuring cup, you know just so that I don't spill the water anywhere and then my inhalation kits back there and whatnot. But, and of course in my hydrogen station, I guess you can see I have my, I have a few supplements, but I have uh, the really clean water in jugs there and that's my carbon distilled water. And then of course people have been asking, in fact, I guess for those asking, how do I use my mineral drops? Well, I just put one drop in the glass, then I pour the hydrogen water into the glass. I do not put these into the machine directly. Okay, let me just show you how to use this machine. It's really quite simple. Before I even go on, I don't know if you see the bubbling up here. It's normal. It actually has a protective film on here. And if you remove it, it looks like pristine and brand new, but I leave it on there because it kind of protects it. So, okay, simple options, guys. The Japanese have made this just so easy for us in the sense that it's just one button and you either tap it or you hold it. That's how easy it is. So if I tap it once on the new model, it goes straight to 30 minutes. The old one, I believe, used to go to 10. If you tap it again, it goes to 90 minutes. 90 minutes is, 90 minutes is for inhalation. You'd obviously want to re remove the white crown, the hydrogen catcher here, and you'd want to change the lid for the inhalation lid. If you tap it again, it goes back to 30. If you tap again, it just goes back and forth between 30 and 90. I'm gonna do 30 minutes because I'm actually going to drink this water. If you notice, there's lights flashing in there. I don't know if you can kind of see them. And you can see the panel flashing and it'll be continue to light up. If you hold down the button, the lights go out and the lights go out in there. This is like night mode. You know, sometimes it's a little confusing, I noticed, because you don't know if the machine's off or on when the lights are out, but one way to know it's really simple, just look at the screen. All you gotta do is look at the timer. As long as you see numbers in here, it's counting either backwards, or if you see zero, zero, that means it's on standby, which means it's still trickling hydrogen. If it's off, that screen will be off. And at this point, even if I tap the button, nothing happens. The only thing I can do at this point is I can hold down the button and it'll turn off and see you can see the panel goes out and you start all over and then it's just a matter of tapping it again and choosing which mode I want to go into and holding it down if I want to turn off the lights and that's how simple it is guys hopefully that all kind of answered people's questions about how to use the new model maybe a little bit of the new information in fact that reminds me if you guys want to know more about the Vive technology you can just go to that official company's website they have some information about it over there about the structuring of hydrogen which again, I think it's so next level. And since nobody's doing it, nobody's really gonna learn about it. It's gonna be a while till the world catches up because 
you know, these guys have been way ahead of the game. It's one of the reasons that they're my favorite hydrogen machine out there. So, all right, guys, don't forget to support the channel, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one.